Don LeGrecke and Greg Buttle. Welcome to Week 7. We start locally with the Jets traveling out to Oakland to take on the Raiders. A couple of different things here. Jets don't win out on the West Coast, but outside of their victory over Philadelphia, Raiders never win. So what exactly are the Jets going to bring to the table? Well, they're going to bring an attitude. That's number one. They've got to do that. And, Don, would you consider this a must win for the Jets? No, I don't want to go there. Don't even go with must win, but I will tell you something like that. You brought up some good issues, but I think it's all in the past. The Jets' defense is the one that better rise to the occasion this week and protect that kid Sanchez. All right, Giants, one of the worst performances we've seen in years. They gave up more yards in the game against the Saints last Sunday for the first time since 1980 when they allowed over 500 yards against the Chargers. That was a long, long time ago. Can the Giants bounce back at home Sunday night football against an Arizona Cardinal team that likes to pass too? Well, Don, I, I think they can, and this is why. You're never as bad as it appears to be. Once you look at the films, you know that, hey, we were right there. We didn't do this. That kid is good. They've surprised us doing this. So I think the Giants bounce back real good this week, and they tell you exactly the way the New York Giants will play the rest of the season. Now you got the Pittsburgh Steelers playing host to the Minnesota Vikings. I'm surprised they're 6-0. and The world seems to be surprised. Steelers very quietly 4-2. and How do you think this game's going to go down? Well, I'm surprised the Steelers are 4-2, and but they have an excuse. Troy Palomalo has been injured. Mm-hmm. I think they're getting him back. I think that that's the key for, for Ben Roethlisberger to be throwing the ball over 400 yards last week, albeit as the Browns. I think this is a real good wake-up call for the Pittsburgh Steelers, and I do believe the Steelers come out winning. And this is our Rally Idiot Game of the Week. Now the Falcons are going to be in Dallas to take on the Cowboys. Dallas has been a team that's really struggled as far as passing the football. And I like the Falcons. They're a very complete team. Idiot is an understatement. But getting back to Dallas, Mm -hmm. Dallas, I think, is an overrated team. I'm not so sure I could even say one way or another whether Dallas is going to win or going to lose in a week because you just don't know how Tony Romo is going to play, and I think that's a big key to the game. We'll see you again next week.